Good morning guys and welcome to day one of officially doing keto. I'm just about to start working. It is a holiday today but I'm doing overtime unfortunately. I am not happy about it. We don't have to do it right now anyway. It was mandatory for a week. Um, it's the busiest time of year at my job but it's more like it would be really great if you could do it. Like it's highly encouraged <laughs> and it is extra money but I just I feel very <sighs> like burn out a little bit of work it was really nice to have yesterday I worked for a couple hours on Saturday yesterday I had completely off and then today I'm I'm gonna aim to do three hours I told my friend who lives across the world that we were we were gonna be facetiming and I was like oh I can do noon my time which is 9 p.m. for her oh my god this thing will plug in hold on I'm just trying to get set up for work as I talk to you and now it's it's 9.15 my time, and I'm gonna have to tell her we're gonna do 15 minutes later because I was trying to do three hours. I should have gotten up earlier. I thought that I was gonna have enough time to make my breakfast, but um, yeah, having to actually make your breakfast takes forever. I had to dirty a bunch of dishes, and I didn't even have time to like log everything into my app. But anyway, let me just show you what I made because this is going on for way too long. So I did two poached eggs with some salt and half, no, a quarter of an avocado with some green onion. And then we've got some full fat Greek yogurt with some frozen raspberries, flaxseed, and cinnamon. Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. I'm just trying to keep it under 50 grams of carbs this first week. So I will see if I could do like a screen recording or a screenshot once I log everything into my app. It's just called Carb Manager and it's just gonna tell me like how much is in everything. I weighed the yogurt and I just know like the eggs and avocado I should be able to just put in there. So that's breakfast and I just thought that I would like vlog today and just kind of tell you guys how I'm feeling and what I'm eating and everything. Right now I feel the same as I felt all week, like I have a headache. I've literally had a constant headache all week, it's never gone away. Brain fog, alertness wise, I feel like decent and my stomach doesn't hurt. So that's where we're starting at. All right, so I'm finished with breakfast. Also forgot to mention that I'm having an English breakfast tea with a little bit of almond milk and my stomach is not okay right now. <laughs> I have always had like the 2% yogurt because I thought that the more fat dairy had in it, the more it hurt my stomach. Like I can't like have milk or cream, but if something was like non-fat or low fat, I could usually stomach it. And then this diet, you have to eat everything full fat. So that's what I was trying to do. And I looked it up and apparently full fat dairy has less lactose than low fat or non-fat. And I was like, wow, like that's news to me. And I was like, well, I guess this won't hurt my stomach as much. Well, wrong. That absolutely wrecked my stomach. So I'm just gonna say that we're not off to a great start. And yes, I did take a lactate before. Maybe I need to like take two or something. <sighs> Cause this isn't gonna work. Like I can't, it's one thing to have a stomach ache at home, but like when I'm in the office, like I don't want to deal with that. And the eggs were like not really very good, probably because they were cold by the time I had cleaned up all the dishes it took to make them. I just, I'd been having them fried like every day or scrambled. So I was like, let's try something different, whatever. And my head hurts more than before, which is usually what happens when I eat. It feels like it is someone injected lead all through here, just lead. So anyway, I'm gonna do my work and I will check back in with you guys later. All right, done with work now. I ended up just doing two and a half hours instead of three and I'm fine with that. You know, it really wasn't that bad. I just, I like when things just like kind of clip along and over time and I just ran into a couple things that I couldn't get done and it was frustrating but I feel like I got like a good amount done overall and I'm just gonna talk to my friend now. I'm starving, it's noon, but I don't have time to make a lunch so I'm just gonna talk to her and eat later. Okay, so I definitely forgot to film my lunch but here's what's left of it. I had three eggs cooked in butter with some spinach, a little bit of leftover steak and feta and then just some cucumber on the side. So yeah, epic fail already. I forgot to actually take the video. I was so hungry the entire time. I was on FaceTime with my friend, like beyond the point of hungry, like my stomach was eating itself. And I also had a couple of macadamia nuts while I was making this, but I've eaten almost the whole thing. And it's like, I feel full, like my stomach kind of hurts. Like I ate a lot, but yet I also don't feel satisfied. 
at all. Like, I'm still, like, <laughs> hungry, if that makes sense. And I don't know if that's just because there's no bread with this or if it's because I waited too long to eat, which was my bad. But, yeah, I also prepared my lunch for tomorrow, which is going to be a Greek salad. <sighs> but, anyway... My head feels better than it did when I was working. Like, it feels like almost completely better now, which is crazy because it has hurt all week. So I'll take it, but I don't feel great overall. So that's where we're at. All right, quick update. It's about five o'clock No, It's almost 5.30 actually. Can't believe the day's almost over and the work week's about to start again. Feel extremely behind on everything I was supposed to do. But the most important thing that I wanted to get done was I actually wrote a creative nonfiction piece back in January when we had our two weeks off. And yes, it actually has taken me this long to try to submit it places because when there's just a task like that that seems so like big and scary, I just like don't do it because one part of it was researching places to submit it to and like making a notion spreadsheet of when all their deadlines were and how many words or pages each one said it had to be and then I had to go back and edit it so just now September 2nd I finished well I finished editing it last night I made a cut down version today and submitted it to the first journal I had like maybe five six journals that I'm going to submit it to and like I don't even care if I get it published I mean I do care but the point is to like push myself to actually like try to get my writing published instead of just sitting around so that was like the number one thing I really wanted to get done this weekend, so very proud of myself for that. But I still have to exercise and edit all these videos. So, and I still have to finish setting up my journal so that I can actually write down what I'm eating because I have not been doing that. But back to the eating, I have made a quick um, chicken salad situation. I already ate about half of it. My dad grilled some chicken and I just had that with some keto mayonnaise so it doesn't have any like sugar or corn or seed oils in it or anything it's just avocado oil eggs and like the spices or whatever some lettuce and some chicken and some curry powder and <laughs> so earlier after lunch I had this weird feeling of like not being full but kind of being full and it didn't really go away and then I was after a while I it took me forever I finally put everything into my app to track it and it turns out that I really hadn't gotten anywhere near the amount of fat and protein I was supposed to have. So I was like, yeah, I think I am just hungry. So I had some aged Gouda cheese and some peanut butter for snack. And I'm having this and then we're going to have pulled pork for dinner. So yeah, I will update you then. Okay, so I'm about to go to bed, but I just thought that I would quickly check in with you guys. I will hopefully insert a screenshot right here of what my macros ended up looking like at the end of the day from the app. Um, yeah, I did not really come anywhere close to where I was supposed to be with fat, protein, and calories, but this was all kind of an estimate because it is insanely hard to measure and weigh every single thing you're putting into a meal. So yeah, I don't really know. Uh, I think it severely underestimated the fat that was in that pulled pork. I just, it was weird today. I don't know. Like I said, after lunch, I didn't feel satisfied. And then I had that snack, which helped, but then when it came time for dinner, like, I didn't even want to eat like I wasn't hungry so I just had like kind of a small portion of like spinach pulled pork and cheese but I think the app really did not calculate the fat correctly because there's a lot of fat in pulled pork and my mom and I went for a walk and like I'm not hungry like my stomach isn't rumbling but I have the headache that I always get when I'm hungry like I feel hungry up here like my mouth feels like icky like when you haven't eaten for too long I don't know that makes any sense but so it's like I don't know if I like maybe just didn't eat enough but my stomach didn't want any more food so it's just day one so we're gonna see how it goes so see you tomorrow for day two